hello friends welcome to automation tech guru today i am going to demonstrate how we can create a post request using RevSharp and net in rest api automation framework to get more videos you can like share and subscribe on my youtube channel automation tech guru you can also view my previous video rest api automation framework using net part 6 Now we can see how we can create the REST API post request. So first we will add scenario. So just go to Solution Explorer. Go to API Automation Test Shoot and which of file. And we can add one scenario here. So just add the scenario user registration for given endpoint now we can write the given when and then so given I have endpoint and endpoint is slash user slash and then we can add the when part so when I call a post method to register a user then I will get then I will register successfully and we can right click on it and we will generate the step definition methods so just copy those method and go to the feature go to the step definition class and paste it We also create a one create post request method in REST API helper class. now how we can add the body class because uh, for this scenario we need to create one body in the uh, with the post method so to create that body we need a one class so i'm just creating one class so just go to solution explorer
right click on the project and add one class I will give this class name as user information so user information and add so this will be a public class public class user information and we will add some properties like first name last name so public string first name and we will add the get set now just copy this and you can create other properties also second one is the last name last name then email address and then date of birth so I'm just creating these four properties in this user information class through this class we will pass the values for the post method and we will just uh, create one constructor also for this user class so public user information so this will be a constructor to initialize the user information class now we will see how we can use this class as a body with the post method add one post method post method with the request so just go to when part and we will create one post uh, method that is rest api helper dot create post request Now we just need to create this method in the REST API helper class. So go to the class public static and return type will be REST request. Since we are passing all the value through the class, so this uh, method not required any uh, will not require any parameters. So we just uh, create a resource that will be a registration. So variable resource equal to registration, and then rest request. new request 
press request and we will pass the parameter name is resource and method will be post this will be a rest request variable and then rest request dot now we will add body also so we, we will add this rest request dot add body and we will pass the user information class object so now we will create a user information class object so variable user info equals to new user information uh, now we will uh, give the details with this user information so user information dot first name So this uh, user info uh, is a object of the user information class and we will, we will pass all the values to this class so user info dot first name user info dot last name email address and date of birth so we will assign the values for these all the properties email address So uh, this is the basic information which I, I have passing from uh, this, this uh, create post method. Even you can create a class object in a step definition also and you can pass from there also. Maybe you can pass the test data from uh, scenario outline also. So I'm just adding first name, last name, email address and date of birth. now we we need to add rest request dot add header where we can add the header accept and application json we just copy it from the have a create method create request method and paste it so this will be a post request for the api for this scenario and as the same same thing is create is a very well response so so just very well response equal to response api helper dot get response since uh, this uh, scenario is basically uh, used to post the data to the server and you will get the response and it will actually a registration uh, creating the uh, new user or registering the new user it means that uh, it will uh, you will get the response 
code as a 201 and the response status description will be the created so you just create the uh, new user so I'm just asserting that assert and dot and that response dot status code to validate that uh, the registration is success done successfully or not so response dot status code is equals to the error code so error message that user is not registered if this test case we have failed you will get the error message user is not registered so basically in this assert uh, it means that you can just uh, validate the status code that will be coming as a 20 201 and also you can validate the status description that will be created so when you post any information for the registration page for registration for to registering the user or creating a new user you will get the response code as a 201 and the response description will be created i think i have used is dot equals no it's uh, is, is dot equals to So, so this will be the then part. So uh, today we have seen how we can add the scenario for the post method, how we can add the body uh, and create one class to add the um, object of that class to the body and how we can create the post method. To get more videos, please subscribe my YouTube channel Automation Tech Guru. Thank you.